Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. We're starting now. There we go. We're back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. Thank so. you for joining me, John, today. Um, it's uh, been a pleasure to chat with you and we <laughs> have always mixed up our time zone, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to chatting with you because you have a lot of knowledge about, like, the planetary and star systems, interconnectedness yeah. and all that kind of stuff and the sacred sites and, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, gravity and... Yeah, well, yeah. What's, what's it all time, space time, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. the quantum stuff, yeah, the intense quantum, stuff. Quantum physics and things of that nature, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I'm and glad I, to be here. Thanks for having <laughs> me. <laughs> and I just want to thank the elders of the land, past, present, and future here in uh, Darug, because I honor their spirits and, um, yeah. yeah, I work with them. So just thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Aborigines, yeah, the original yeah. people, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like the oldest, oldest culture on the planet, fifty thousand yeah. years old. Yeah, they go yeah. way back. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was just watching a video actually this morning about the connection between um, the original people here and Göbekli Tepe. They have some similar signage on, like their body. And oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. on Gobekli Tepe. Yeah, they I can draw it. Yeah, I think it's yeah. Good. They have a they have stories going back before the moon. Like they said, there was a time before the moon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's this symbol. Have you seen that? I oh yeah, that's on the uh, that's on the statues of uh, Gobekli Tepe. Yeah. 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 Like the two crescent moons with the, the uh, it's like an H, you know. Oh. So, well, it yeah. could be. I don't know. Who knows? You know, it's like I don't it's know. like. Yeah. It's like an H H symbol, and then a uh, the two. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Something something. It looks like yeah. a gathering to me. I don't know why. It just looks like a it's like like, they, um... like they're gathering. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Like yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, anything you know, yeah, that's what it is. You keep guessing around. It's like they got the hands on the belly, like the uh, uh, what do you call the. Uh, the, the Easter Island statue. Uh, Easter Island guys. Yes, yeah, they all, they, they, all the, they all the hands on the yeah. belly there. Yeah. 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 Really what cool. was the name of the statues down there? Moe? No. Uh, yeah, I think I so. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think so. I think uh, it's uh, off memory. Uh, yeah, same here. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so much oh, information. <laughs> yeah. it'll, it'll come back in a little bit. You know. Yeah. It takes you a while to get the brain up and running, but then all the neurotransmitters start connecting and then you know, <laughs> the big information share going on, you know? It's like a bit of a the channeling. Mo I think it was Moais, the Moais. Moais, yeah. yeah, sorry. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But they're right. their bodies go way below the grade. They have, you know, tattoo. They're not tattoos, but they got uh, a lot of carvings and, and stellies and everything. They have a great, you know, yeah. 20 feet down below the surface of the earth. Uh, oh, I didn't earth. know. Yeah. Underneath. Yeah, they, they excavated one of them. It's just amazing the uh, the uh, material that they have carved into them, you know? Yeah. Wow. I mean, a lot of it a lot of it doesn't make any sense to anybody, but it's, it's there for <laughs> studying, you know? Nobody's too figured it out yet. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. It's just too yeah. advanced. I'd love yeah. to go to Easter Island. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Easter Island, yeah. Yeah. You're right. It's on the... Yeah, it's off the coast of uh, Chile, I think, Chile. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, my friend's from Chile. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the one I just I just did a bit of a summer solstice uh, ceremony yesterday. Right, yeah, you guys got the, yeah, you got the summer, we got the winter up here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, you, you got winter now, hey. Yeah. Yeah, this stuff, so, yeah I see the sunshine <laughs> out in the backyard there. That looks oh, good. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I live yeah. near a forest, so it's really nice out there. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, because right. it's it's a unit. It's an apartment, and my balcony literally leans off yeah. um the forest. There's a oh sweet. There. Yeah, That's it's nice. nice. Yeah. <laughs> so you live on the west coast or the east coast? Are you on the. I'm on the east coast. On the oh, east, east coast. coast. Yeah. So that's like uh, what's that? Is that Sydney? No, Sydney. Sydney. Yep. Oh, no, Sydney. No, that's okay. Right. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Sydney. Have you been to Australia? Have you been here? No, no. I've been wanting to go for like. Oh decades you know i want to get out and see uh 
I want to get out to uh, Uluru, you know. The, the oh, stuff. my God. Uluru is amazing. Oh, yeah. you don't go to Uluru. Uluru comes to you. Yeah, that's how it is. Okay, yeah. That's all how right. it is when you're there. <laughs> yep. It's that powerful. You're like, <laughs> yeah, you feel like, the... like she's coming to you when you're when you're there. Yeah. 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 So get, Very yeah, powerful you know, stuff. Yeah, get hooked into that energy and get, you know, Wait for the downloads, you know. Wait you for should the, come. Oh, you get a lot of downloads going to Uluru. You can yeah. you can guarantee that one. <laughs> Have yeah. you heard of the Gosford glyphs? Have you heard of the carry on hieroglyphs? Uh, the glyphs, yeah. I saw some of the hieroglyphs down there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. From Egypt. Some of them uh they look like e Egyptian, yeah. 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 Oh yeah, my God. If you it. come to Sydney, like obviously if you're coming from overseas, Sydney is the main port. I mean, usually. Right. Yeah, right. you should okay. tell me. Fly right down in, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it would yeah, be so cool to go to the glyphs, huh? Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, let yeah, me I'll know. Come. Seriously, it would be amazing. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, well, I'll need someone to show me around, so. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But at the moment, they're destroying it. They're destroying the hieroglyphs. Yeah. I've posted a lot of stuff um, on social media about this right. because – it's really yeah. sad what they've been doing. They've um like they've apparently had helicopters in that area, and they've yeah. actually blasted some of the glyphs off and filled it Ooh. with rocks. Yeah, oh. and so some of the glyphs literally have come off the rock face, and it's uh -huh. really sad. And they're yeah, saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like a national treasure, you know. Absolutely, uh, it's a, know, sacred like, uh, a heritage site, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They should protect those things because they, you know, they mean things. They mean something, you know. They're in connection. So. Yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah. even if they don't mean something, they should have respect for it because a lot of people right. find meaning in it, you know. Right. Right. Yeah, right. and the it's government just. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, you, that's it. You just gotta, you know, keep keep. Um, voicing it and making it public and hopefully mm -hmm. uh you know powers that be will catch up and start protecting these things, you know yeah that's yeah. all we can do is hope yeah yeah i know i really want it to be listed as a heritage site like you said like we all do we all want it to be acknowledged internationally yeah. it's really important you know yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. yeah yeah definitely you want to uh you know I, I, every year they'll they'll Put something on the protected, uh, you know, list and things of that nature of a few places, so they get, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, and recognized anyways, and they're protected. Supposedly, you know, they got to go. You know, you can't uh, destroy them or, yeah, or anything. World Her I think it's a World Heritage Site, so something like that. Yeah. Yeah, they do keep adding to it. You're right. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, we get it before we lose. We lose any more. You know. Yeah. So, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so yeah i'm interested in checking out the um uh what do you call it the uh you know the terrain down there and looking for oh, yeah. pyramids or you know yes. any, any kind of man-made uh you know structures of some sort and yeah ancient, ancient uh you know mount, uh, mounds hills things of that nature but aluru oh. would be fine even if i just got oh. to aluru i'd be satisfied <laughs> is, yeah, oh, I think that's the yeah. highlight of Australia. That's literally yeah. the best site. It's the most sacred yeah. site. Yeah, I mean, yeah. without prejudice, yeah. but it is so yeah. sacred. Like it's, um, yeah. yeah, and you but just can, feel you, it. can they let you on top still? Can you go up on top? No, of it still? I think they banned that. They did yeah. finally ban that and say yeah. no, you can't go the on. People, top. The people are doing something bad up there uh, who knows you know yeah there's an actual scar on the rock so you can uh -huh. see the path where people have gone up and down and oh, it's okay. like so sad you can see yeah, that. yeah. i don't yeah. know it was like a tourist thing so they promoted right. it back in the day yeah oh yeah yeah but it was yeah. just um yeah. like you know, obviously the um the elders they don't like people doing that, not because yeah. it's just it needs to be respected for what it is. Right, it needs to be sacred, yeah. Yeah. Sacred, sacred yeah. ground, hallow ground, yeah. 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 Like well, they, yeah. they know, huh? Oh god, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because everything has spirit in it and Uluru has like a like a spirit, you know, inside right. of the rock. Right. So they really respect yeah. that, yeah. Yeah, it's like um, continents align with continents. So I know Australia aligns. Australia aligns with uh, South America, 
you know, like the landmass, they're oh. 180 degrees opposed from each other. Yeah, so okay. Gravitationally, so gravitationally, you're connected with uh, South America, you know, so. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah. Know that. yeah, 180 degrees opposed to each other. Yeah, so. Oh. I know it was, uh, it's a gravity, uh, gravity concept theory I worked on, I've, I've been working on for years. And so it's like every continent has a continent, sister continent that lines up with it. Yeah. There you go. It's like, I always do something like this. I got some, I got some, uh, you know, little wow. things, but you can see uh, Giza Plateau is at one side, right? And then the Hawaiian yeah. hotspots yeah. at the other. So yeah. They're 180 degrees opposed. Which is, so if you stuck a, a yarn needle through the planet, say through Aluru, you'd come out somewhere in Peru, you know? Oh. South America, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's all it's all like a balance. Everything's in a balance, locked in balance. Yeah. You know, on the planet, so uh, yeah, yeah. You connected. You connected with South America. You know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time I've heard of that, like gravitationally. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's my stuff that I worked on. That came off of my, um, came out of like a, uh, my first book that I, I wrote on uh, pyramid gravity force. It was like, I found there was an alignment with all the large pyramids on the planet. Yeah. They aligned with a, uh, with a volcano, 180 degrees opposed to it on the same latitude. Oh, so wow. Like, you know, you had Hawaiian hotspot lined up with the uh, Giza, Giza plateau pyramids. Pyramid of Sun in uh, Mexico lined up with um, Mount Sri Lanka and, um, <clears throat> and yeah, not Mount, uh, Mount, Mount um, what's the name of it? Uh, Mount, Mount Sajiri in oh. Sri Lanka. Sorry about that. Mount Sajiri. The Shen pyramids, and then the Shen pyramids in China align with uh, Bermuda, the Bermuda Island. Oh, what? Really? Wow. Yeah, okay. like, so, so yeah, like, yeah. I'd have, I'd have like three arrows going through the planet like this, and they just connect right up to it, you know. So, oh, okay. so each one, each one. So there was like, but that led to that uh, a gravitational equation, and uh, I stumbled upon a gravitational theory that, you know, large masses align with large masses on the planet, not just pyramids and volcanoes, but continents and continents, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Antarctica is real easy because Antarctica aligns with Antarctica. <laughs> uh, you mean the North Pole or only Antarctica? South, South Pole. South, South Pole. Pole, sorry, yeah. No, yeah. Oh, only Antarctica. Antarctica lines with Antarctica because you got to Oh, this way. Yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, straight across. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It. It's hard to, it's hard to get. It. Yeah, I know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, like, have you um, seen, yeah. Huh? I was going to yeah, say, yeah. have you seen the pyramids in Antarctica? Uh, yeah, I saw I saw some of the um, I saw some stone you know some pyramid shapes uh, mountains you know yeah mountains were, yeah yeah they were you know they were they were uh, same shape as a pyramidal shape you know so yeah. it's it's a wonder if they you know it looks like they were uh, carved you know like hand carved but oh, really? I think I think block pyramids wouldn't survive the glaciers like you know if they were block pyramids like a lot of pyramids. You know, in the uh, northern mm. hemisphere, I don't think they would survive the uh, glacier action. You know, the pulling and tugging. But the uh, there's there's definitely pyramidal shaped mountains up there. So very yeah. interesting. Yeah, you know, down there, down there. Yeah, yeah, know. down there. <laughs> you're, you're up there. <laughs> up, up, down, you know. Yeah, we're down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Oh. And then uh, so I get into that I get into that theory and uh, that you know that I'm. That was great. I learned a lot. And then I ended up on the moon, you know, because yeah. I'm like, I'm like, well, what's driving this uh, gravitational connection between pyramids and volcanoes? And then mm -hmm. I realized it was, it was a gravitational field in the moon. Every day, 24-7, 365, that we roll through the moon's gravitational field and, um, you know, it moves the tides. Like, you go to the ocean, yeah. you, see, you see the power of the moon right there. You get the... Tides going in, tides going out twice a day, every 13 hours. Uh, you know, so it's a little bit, it's not completely four hours, but uh, uh, 12 hours rather. But so, you know, I kind of kind of went on, you know, that, that more or less um, was the foundation of gravity theory. And 
It was like Isaac Newton had a, uh, in his unpublished papers that were just out at Christie's, they, they were up for auction, millions and millions of dollars. And, uh, but people got to read them. And he, yeah. he suspected that there was a gravitational theory in the pyramids also. Oh, wow. Was connected, some, somehow connected to uh, gravity theory he was also working on, you know. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so Isaac Newton's just, he's, he keeps coming up but day in and day out. You just can't shake him loose. He was the, uh, you know, the father of it all. I mean, uh, you know, even, even the uh, NASA and the uh, European Space Agency, they still use his, his formulas to oh. uh, navigate, um, you know, satellites, spacecraft, you know, all that stuff. They still go back to his gravity theories because Einstein's um, gravitational work is just too intricate. You know, it, it's, it can't be applied to what they do in, uh, and, oh, at the level gotcha. of the solar system. You know, I think, you know, it's really, really, it's, it's like you said that uh, word earlier, the, um, you know, this, um, what are they, quantum physics, you know, it's, it's a, yes. It's it's when you dive below the uh, this this plane that we're in right now, and you go into the quantum physics of yeah, yeah. everything gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. You know, it's just you know, it's just I mean, you lose your mind for like a thousand years. And, oh, absolutely. And, you know, create create uh, a million other theories and still come back and have nothing that's tangible to what we're doing today. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's a playground for the intellectually insane, I think, you know? Yeah, so. that's right. Yeah, that would be me. Although I don't have the language for it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So it, keeps, keeps, it keeps people busy, you know, it keeps their brains occupied anyways. And they yeah, get they get, uh, they get money, they get funding, they get awards, you know, Nobel Peace Prizes. Yes. But nothing. But it's nothing we can use on a daily basis in no, our dimension, right. you know, in, in the, in yeah. the uh, realm that we're in, you know? Yeah. But hey, sometime, maybe someday in the future, maybe, you know. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Hang on, just give me one, one moment. moment. Okay. One moment, one moment. You bloody Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I have a baby, so I have other priorities. <laughs> yeah. Life life does go on, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, uh, it just yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, so I stumbled I stumbled upon a um some images on the moon, you know, yeah. it's like, Hey, there's real images up there. And then it was like, I got, I got to like eight in images. Cause the, it's funny. They sick they call this side of the moon that we can't see the dark side of the moon. Yeah. But on the dark side of the moon, there's no dark images on that side of the moon. It's all bright white. Right. Oh, but yeah. on our side of the moon, on our side of the moon, there's dark patches and, you know, shadows and everything mm -hmm. so i was able to uh you know i got this telescope behind me i don't know if you can see it but yeah i can see i got that oh, I, I was looking at it i was looking at um the moon with um some filters and things of that nature i noticed that there's images up there. there's a face of a man there's um there's two wolves there's um a cobra <laughs> there's the um the uh, uh what do you call the sign the cancer sign and the um uh, uh, Capricorn sign, the goatfish, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so, you know, I got, so here I am, you know, I started out with the pyramids. I ended up back on the moon. And uh, I'll get a picture of it here. Hold on a minute. Did you hear so, that? And then these, yeah. these images, I'll show you. I don't know if you can see it there. Yeah, yeah. that's a bit blurry. What's that? That's a face. That's a face. Oh, uh, yeah, man. I can the, see the... the real, The real man of the moon, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but... Oh, so, cool. so that... Now, he's got two wolves on his forehead. You know, these bad pictures, but... Two it's, wolves? It's, yeah. Two wolves. They're, it's like holograms. Oh, wow. And his head, his head, the guy's head... Yeah. You can see it's like 666 miles ear to ear. These things are huge. A giant... Uh, you know, uh, uh, what do you call it? Images on the moon, um, wow. petroglyphs, I guess you call them down here. So the one on the left, the picture on the left is just a normal picture of the moon. See the images, see the dark shadows. Yeah. It's very dark. Yeah. And then yeah. this is the artist rendition. Oh, wow. In it. So oh, that's the, the goat. Yeah. You Cap got Capricorn down the bottom, uh, oh, you know, cancer wow. the crab up top. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Son of Man, and then you got a cobra way up here. So mm, yeah, I can't anyway, so I ended up writing that book. Uh, you know, got going on that book. I um there's a lot of a uh, lot of information. Um I think China, I think China is one of the few countries that actually subscribe to images on the moon. I think they, they call it Jade Rabbit. They see another thing. They see something else oh. up there, but Oh, okay. So, so in essence, the book I wrote was like, okay, let's let's just agree there's images up there. Somebody went through a lot of work to put these images up there, three, four, a, a thousand miles, some of them, yeah, six hundred miles. I mean, the if you if you lot. get a chance to look, go to my uh, uh, web page or uh, my uh, site, my uh, Facebook, or yeah, actually yeah. go to go to my uh, YouTube channel. And yeah. if you're interested, you can, I got a, I got a couple of short videos on those okay. images. It'll blow your mind. Yeah, and I'm gonna... you, can, you can see these things. You can see when the moon comes up out of the water, you're on the coast, right? Where you live, yeah. like close to the ocean. Yeah. When the moon yeah. comes up, the best time to see the images is when the moon comes up out of the water. You get oh. this uh, lensing effect of the atmosphere. So the moon's always huge when it comes yeah. up out of the ocean compared oh. to like directly overhead. That's because oh, the, that's okay. That's because oh, that's the, the Earth Earth's atmosphere creates a lensing effect, a magnifying effect. So it looks ten times bigger when it's coming up out of the horizon than if it does overhead. But but at that moment, you can go out and look with your naked eye or a, a pair of binoculars, and you'll see these images clear as day. You know? Oh, okay, yeah. And then once you see them, you'll see them whether the moon's straight overhead or whatever you'll you'll see the the images come to life at, at, after you go through each quarter you know you go through uh, crescent quarter half moon three quarter yes. moon full moon you'll see these images start to come out and and uh, walk through the uh, walk through the uh, cycle of a month a month's time so oh okay pretty fascinating pretty fascinating stuff um yeah. So yeah, I brought that in, and then I came back down off the moon. I came back down to the <laughs> earth again. Yeah, <laughs> I ground myself. <laughs> <And> it, <laughs> but ironically, there's there's a thing called pareidolia in people's minds. You know, there's, mm -hmm. there's something where certain people have a, the ability to fill in gaps and create yeah. a picture, or an image, you know, or a face, or something like that. Okay. And a lot of people have it. It's an ancient part of the mind that was used to uh, friend a foe. It would warn you whether or not, you know, the enemy was coming or, you know, something something bad was happening. But yeah. And then yeah. I don't know if you ever see that thing on Facebook. They have like a paragraph that every word's misspelled, but people can read it anyways. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Right yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. Per that's pareidolia also. Uh -huh. you're, 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 you know, you're connecting the... Uh, letters to make the sentence even though the letters don't exist you're putting them in there and reading it you know oh okay oh my god it's saying i only have 10 minutes left because of oh, i think boy. i'm not upgraded or something which is oh, gonna yeah. have to well, make it a right. i'm so sorry huh well, yeah. it's okay yeah but i know it's good to touch base so then I'll, I'll just get into my last book my last book yes. is um pyramids and the great floods which is the the uh you know the globe this both my theories were on the, the uh, all the pyramids, you know, a, a function that included all the pyramids. So this yeah. last one, this last one was um, tied into a, uh, um, a, a a certain environmental mm. condition that happens at the end of ice at the end of in, interglacial periods, which we're going into right now. We're at the end yeah. of. Yeah. And what I surmised is that we have. Um, what we call is a uh, a geyser. Um, yeah, I saw your post about that. Yeah. Great, plus, plus a great flood. So at the end of an interglacial period, we get a great flood, a global flood, with a guy with a geyser um, events going on. So oh. the uh, Type Three society that built these pyramids don't tell anybody. We don't want to draw any attention. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know what you're saying. No, don't yeah. want to go off the deep end here. No, but no. If you, you know, if you want to deal in the world of reality and what you yeah. see. We're being scientific you know, here. Yeah, very intelligent set of people were on the planet. 
Yes. And what they did was they got a hold of <laughs> they they prevented the geysers from going into the atmosphere. So we get into this like all the all the large pyramids on the planet are built on top of subterranean oceans. Like they, mm -hmm. they encompass three or four countries in Egypt, the Sudan, Egypt, uh, two other countries that uh, escaped my mind, but China, we're talking thousands of square miles of oceans that are 30 miles below the surface. Yeah. And then also a lot of the pyramids in Central America, but they're all built on top of these subterranean oceans. And at the end of the interglacial period, these oceans rise up and you have a fracture in the uh, transition zone where 36 to 30 times the amount of surface ocean is located uh, below the Earth's crust in the in the uh, between the um, uh, upper and lower mantle. Yeah. So there's something that happens on the planet that fractures this. This water comes up, okay. and the Type Three society. What they did was, and it was about a, going back a million years ago. Another one. Don't listen if you can't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> if you look at the ice core samples, you see that this technology came into play a million years ago. Yeah. And what it is. What what the pyramids do is they, they act like uh, corks. They prevent the geysers from going into the atmosphere. Okay. And crashing the uh, planet into like what I call a snowball earth where you get completely wiped out and God himself has to come back and create life okay. again. So instead of, because God's busy, he doesn't need to come back here every, you know, uh. every hundred thousand years. They put these, these uh, pyramids on top of these geysers yeah. and prevent them from spraying in the atmosphere and that basically oh, wow. lowers that basically lowers the the depths of an ice age we go into. Oh, so life so life on Earth survives at the equatorial regions, you know, yeah. northern Australia, yeah, uh, you know, Central Africa, you know, things of that nature. So, um, oh, life sorry. in generally ha life in general has a uh, you know survives. Yeah, it's and a preservation it, you know, thing. So. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so the uh, pyramid, the, the Great Pyramid of Geysers, you can trace the, uh, the geyser flow through it. Mm -hmm. it's, set up, it's set up to deal with pressures like in excess of 10,000 PSI, superheated steam, water. And what it does, it just holds it down and buys time for a okay. few months while this, while this system, while this geyser environmental, uh, you know, impact uh, plays out. Yeah. So in, in essence, you're just buying time and then everything settles out, you know, and then we, you know, then you go back to, uh, you go into an ice age. I mean, these ice ages last for 104,000 years. But if these geysers were allowed to go into the atmosphere, you go to snowball earth and you would go into like a, you know, uh, maybe a 300,000 year ice age. We, it, they call it snowball oh. earth. Where everything's completely ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The last nine ice ages we went into it life survives it's not ice in at the equatorial region there's three seasons egypt has four seasons you know it's it's just yeah. normal you know normal thing you get you got plant you can plant your crops you can you know have food people uh, can survive but it's uh, the polar caps start building ice and glaciers and everything else for about four uh four trips of procession Mm -hmm. which is a wobble of the earth, which is a 26,000 year. Um, yeah. So you go through four 26,000 year. Yeah. You go through four 26,000 year events, and then you go into an interglacial period, what we're into right now, you know? Okay. It's yeah. Pretty, it's, 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 you know, you do a little, do a little research and read up on it. You, yeah. Check I'll... out my video. I got, I got all this stuff. It's free. You can, you know, just watch I it. I know. And check it out. You've got so much information. <coughs> I'm going to check some out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. So, so <laughs> I watched basically. The... Yeah, go yeah, on. Go sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, no, go but, on, go on. But yeah, yeah, so basically this, the, uh, the, the pyramids are set up to uh, lower the, the uh, depths of an ice age for the most part, the crash. Yeah, the, right. Uh, Limit, they limit the um, the uh, collateral damage of an uh, impending uh, of an ice age when we do go into an ice age, you know. So it slows it down. You can you can see the power of um, okay. of uh, geysers on the moon Europa. It's a moon that's, that orbits around uh, Europe, uh, Europe uh, Jupiter rather. Yeah. And yeah. those geysers actually go 120 miles into the uh, atmosphere. Like that, that's how high they go up. 
And Europa is like a third of the size of Earth. So our guys is, might not go that high. It might be go 50 miles or 60 miles yeah. when this does happen. But um, yeah, so it's, it's uh, you know, so, so you, get, you get an idea like we're, Europa is basically the same, you know, uh, mechanics operation as Earth is, except we have a, uh, a split where the water is actually below the crust, where Europa, there is no crust. It's just ice. And the water comes in contact with the molten core and it just shoots up into the atmosphere. Oh, okay. But yeah, so it's it's uh, interesting. it's it's interesting. It's scary. It's probably <laughs> one of the most <laughs> frightening. I, I I mean, I watched The Exorcist and uh, The Shining and everything. I'm not very. I'm not a. I, things don't frighten me. But I wrote this book and I was I was terrified, absolutely in fear when I was writing yeah. this last book. Yeah, yeah it does sound scary. Because I mean. Yeah, for the most part, it's Noah's flood. It's Gilgamesh's flood. It's yeah. Ziz Sudra. <laughs> it's, you got you got a flood uh, epic with the um, the uh, Aborigines down there. They have a flood epic story. The okay. Mayans have a flood epic story. India has a flood epic story. So every continent has a flood yeah. epic story. Yeah. And and the Judeo Christian one is the only one that's it's just a one off. It only happens once. But all the other continents and all the other cultures. It's a reoccurring global flood, right? Yeah, yeah. And a lot of your geologists have jumped ship from uh, the mainstream crazy people in the institutions, and they've okay, come out yeah. and, and said the only thing that makes sense with all those all the uh, erosions around the planet are reoccurring global floods. So, like yeah. the Grand Canyon, the Grand Canyon they tell us was carved out with the Colorado River, which is absolute rubbish. It was it's yeah. carved out that monster of a whole create crater, if you will, uh, canyon was carved out through multiple global floods. So it's a yeah. natural yeah. condition on Earth. So you can look oh, at the yeah, Earth as like the Earth is just like your washing machine. It's got a wash cycle, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know? <laughs> it's like it, it it's gonna go through a wash cycle and wipe <laughs> everything out and start over again. Every, yeah. <laughs> thousand years you know i love that i love that okay john i uh, i think we have to leave it for now i'd really really okay to you again because um obviously we've had a bit of interruption today i'm sorry it's all right you know it's all good you know the baby's gotta <laughs> learn the baby what's your baby's yeah, the, name serious uh, oh serious like the star oh, oh no way serious so she knows she wants to yeah. hear she's like she's looking at us keep <laughs> hey, talking hey, hey. He, oh, he, he, okay, he, he, <laughs> he, he, sorry about it, couldn't no, tell from this far, you know, yeah, I, know. I always, I always, I always say she, because babies are, you know, they're just innocent they're, little, you know, just, just yeah, babies, they you know? Anyway, yeah, 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 anyway, yeah, so it's a he, serious, that's a nice yeah, name, serious. excellent, yeah, name, yeah. serious, right, well, it's like, it's like the, uh, the, uh, it might cut the off. Nope.